Greetings Earthlings. I bring you something I've been working on here. Magnetic ball ends for a an effector for a Delta 3D printer. Basically I'm going to replace the arms on my CME CNC raw stock max with uh, something I'm designing. So this effector will fit the CME CNC fits the screw pattern here. I think it's 25 millimeter spacing from the center. So I'll be able to put the plate with the hot end through it here. Um, just to show you what I did was I, I put these on a these on a 45 degree angle. These are 3 8 inch chrome um, balls that I um, tried to drill them, but I don't have the right bits to drill them, and they're, they're too hard. I'll probably just have to get the steel balls, not the, the chrome ones I think are too hard. Um, or I'll have to get make sure I get the right um, carbide bits uh, set up to do it. What I did on the interim was I used a 3 millimeter cap head screw, and I JB welded the ball to it. Uh, I didn't actually, I didn't prep the ball or anything like that. Yeah, I didn't um, scuff it up or anything. Um, and I used too long of a screw, as you can see. I wasn't sure. I hadn't designed the effector yet, so I just had screwed something on. It was actually just a test to see if I could get the um, the ball to fit. The holes actually worked out perfectly, the right size. I could just thread the screw in, and it's tight. Um, I left myself some space here. Uh, for a nut. doesn't actually look like it's big enough for a nut, but it should actually fit a nut on the inside here. Uh, I haven't tried it, but I don't think I'm going to actually need it, so I might just remove that. Anyhow, what this is, is this end is, th these were both printed at 0 .20 uh, millimeter layer height, um, and I let, this is, I printed this on PVA, and I let it um, air cool so it didn't warp and it just the PVA on glass is the best thing ever I mean I just let it air cool and it just slid right off no prying uh, gone are the days of prying stuff off the bed with uh, um, knives and it's just awesome I, uh, I'll never go back to blue tape or any of that crap so a 3 8 inch um, N52 cylindrical um, magnet here and it fits inside here it's just a it just drops right in right now I, I can adjust the tolerance on it and there's a there's a you can see the pocket there machined to match the ball so basically the magnet just clicks right in and super smooth and there's absolutely no play so what I'm planning to do is you know put the six balls on the effector you know at all the holes for the ball locations and I'll put, uh, I've got these spaced, I'll put some 3 8 inch carbon fiber tube in there. Uh, just have to make sure they're all the exact length. And um, yeah, I think this is, I'll do something, I'll create a plastic um, angled piece to fit the CME, C, C, the, sorry, the CME CNC um, pieces on the carriages on the cheapskates. But yeah, I think this is going to work. Um, nicely and I my goal is to do it with uh, 3d printed parts so if it works out I'll I'll release the parts for everybody else to use but you can see I've got plenty of movement here on the ball you can see I can go that's where it stops there and then and go past the past where I need to I'll never I should never have that carriage go below it should maximum go um, 90 degrees and then side to side I checked I've got tons of movement side to side as well so um, it should work out nicely I think I'll probably what I'd like to do is end up getting the um, the balls drilled and then just put a three millimeter stud I'll have to be careful that I leave enough space to clear this part to clear um, this um, effector mechanism but yeah otherwise I'm I'm getting kind of excited. I think this will be kind of cool. I'll have to just be careful here with the PLA um, and the hot end to make sure I drop the hot end um, lower and try and keep it away from the PLA. I think I'm going to have to put some insulation because I don't want to. I don't want to um, compromise and 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 um, 
have this melt at all. So the other option is I can print this out of ABS too, so it'll stand up to more heat than the PLA will. But for now, this is what I'm going to go with, and you know I can make changes as I need to do it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks. Have a good one.